Today I'm going to show you how to control a tortoise switch machine using a Megapoints servo controller and the relay board attachment for it. In addition to this, you'll need an AC power source. I'm using the old clipper here with the AC output and a pair of diodes. I don't think it matters really what you use as long as it's big enough for the job. Here I'm using an FR203. Take your diodes and notice there's a white band on one end. Simply reverse one so that they're opposites. So one is white band at the top, one is at the bottom. Which way round it is doesn't really matter. And with one end, twist them together. Now what I've done here is I've twisted these together and I've attached one side to the switch machine on output or input number eight. The other end on the switch machine from number one, I'll leave spare for now, I'll leave it loose. If I attach terminal one to my AC power source coming from the clipper, we can test this before we wire it up. Because it's an AC power source, each diode will allow only half of the waveform to go through. So if I touch one to the input current, you can see the switch machine moving. And if I touch the opposite diode, it moves in the opposite way. So using this, we can attach it to our relay board. I have a relay board here. So what I'll do is clear up the terminals, plug in the diodes to the outer connectors on the relay. And for the center common connector, I'll attach this wire of which the other end will go to the clipper power supply. So this is the center terminal or the common. So let's connect it. So I have my servo controller running, driving a relay because I've set it on channel one to run mode five. And when I operate my multi-panel, my switch machine moves. So if you're doing an installation and you have a mixture of switch machines and you're moving to new servos as well, then this allows you to embrace what you have and bring it in and use it in conjunction with the new servos. Say you've extended your multi-panel and you've added a router, then as part of that route, you can now operate your switch machines as well. So let's recap on the wiring. From the AC power source, this particular line is going through to the common of the relay in the center. And the other power line is going to either terminal one or terminal eight on the switch machine. Doesn't matter which way around it is. Whichever terminal you used, in this case, I'm on terminal one, terminal eight comes back through the pair of diodes connected to where they're twisted together. And each of the other diodes connects to the first or the third terminal of the relay. So as I operate it, I can swing the switch machine. Thanks for watching.